Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 6 of our bucket plugin tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at very basic configuration files, so essentially just the generation of a configuration file. Um, and that's all we're going to be really getting into today. Uh, in the next few tutorials we're going to be looking more in depth at configuration files, so actually extrapolating data from a configuration file and using it in our plugin. So, the first thing we want to do is we have this plugin.yml down here. And what we want to make is we want to make the same thing, but instead we're going to call it config.yml. So if we click on our package or project. I, you, I always use the wrong word the first time. There is not a time I've ever used the right word the first time. And we click file, and then we're going to type in config.yml. YML. So in here is going to be our default configuration file. So this is where all the defaults for our config are stored. Um, now in YML, we have the uh, couple of, of syntaxy things. We cannot use the tab key. Uh, the comments syntax is the hashtag. I'm actually going to open this up in Notepad++. Uh, uh, open if I can do it. Config.yml. Open with system editor. Um, and then I'm going to open it in Notepad++. Okay, so in our config.yml. We are. Uh, we have the hashtag key is our comment key, so we can say um, tutorial plugin by the BC Bros. The BC Bros. Ben, who is awesome. There we go with an I. And uh, <laughs> generally, you leave a blank line at the end. And we cannot use tabs. You'll see if I use a tab and type things, it goes red in Notepad++, which is a very good editor for this kind of thing, uh, because it tells us that that's obviously wrong. So we're going to leave that top bit up there, just so when the configuration file, you know, generates, then it has this top bit on, and we can just say something like version 1.0, maybe something like that. So I'm going to make some form of data here, uh, just to put into it as an example. Uh, and then next tutorial we're going to be using this data to actually do something. Uh, so I'm just going to make a message. So welcome message, like so. And then I'm going to put a colon. And then after this I'm going to put data. Um, so I'm going to put uh, in these little parentheses things, uh, hello and welcome to the server. And then in placement for a player's name, I'm going to put like a percent sign p and at the start I'm gonna put like a generic color code kind of thing uh, like an and four I don't know what that is uh, but I'm gonna use it and then underneath this I'm gonna put uh, let's make another data form so this is just a string data set uh, so I'm gonna make another one I'm gonna call it uh, server admins uh, and then I'm gonna hit space four times because we can't use tab remember put a dash and then say put uh, bench three and then bench cube. You see it's actually put a tab there for us and we can tell it's put a tab there for us because it's in red. Uh, thanks to Notepad++, so I'm just gonna hit back and then hit space four times. Another good thing about this is you can tell that these are a list um, and it's actually formatted correctly because it does this nice thing. Uh, and let's add, because you know, Notch has to be an admin on all servers, so we'll just add him there. Okay, so now we've set up a nice default configuration file. We've done it in Notepad++, so we'll close that. Um, and we'll just refresh it here, uh, like it's told us to. So it hits in. So now we have this configuration file. This isn't going to uh, generate by default. Um, so we're going to make another method uh, in here. We're going to copy register events. And we're just going to change <laughs> events to config. Uh, because we're super lazy, and then we're going to hover over the red line, hit G create method register config, and that's made it in the wrong place. I want to make it right down at the bottom so it's nice and easy to read. Um, so now I have this register config file, uh, config method, uh, and here we're just going to type a couple of lines of code. So what we want to do is we want to uh, get the server, uh, and then we want to get our service, no, we want to get the plugin manager. And uh, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> we want to get the config. I think it's something completely different. We want to get the config, and then we want to type options, and then we want to say copy defaults and true. Then underneath this, we want to save config. An important thing to remember is every time we do something within our config, we always want to save the config. 
So here what this is doing is we're getting our configuration file, we're getting the options for our configuration file, and we're copying our default settings that are in our config.yml here, which I now want to just open with the text editor again because it's more convenient. Um, so, and then we're going to save the config, and that's all being done when the server's enabled. So, if I just export this now, and finish, and then I overwrite, and I run my server, and I go into my server here, uh, you'll see if I go into my plugins folder, we have this tutorial plugin, and I'm already running the server, I need to close and restart. Okay, so we're running this tutorial plugin here. Uh, and it's just going to take a couple of seconds to load up and you'll see once the server has um, okay right so it's called it player message plugin and you'll see that in our plugin.yml the name of the, the plugin is player message plugin um, so that's why it's made the folder called player message plugin I need to actually change that that would be a good idea uh, but in here we have our config in our config we have all of these good stuff so now if I want to change this server admins thing so I want to change this to my name. Okay, sorry about that blip there. Um, had to deal with something. So anyway, if I change that, so say I change bench three to my name, uh, I save this, uh, and then I close this down. So we have it all different in our um. So it's different now in our config. Our config is different. My name. I shut down the server, and then I restart the server, up, and then go back into my plugins. Uh, what we should find is that because our it's already copied the default, so we already this this file already exists. Uh, this this does not default back to what it was before. So the default here is here, uh, where we have bench three. But because it's already been copied, this only runs here. It the cop defaults are only copied if the file um, does not exist. So now we have this new thing here. So that's how we kind of put data into config file. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we get both of these data forms, uh, the list and also the welcome message, and we put this into a server form, and actually useful, you know, with, with uses. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was useful, and I'll see you next time.